the kindness games. Oh, she did cut yeah. out the camera or the microphone. <laughs> well done, Sarah Marie. I love it. SMB in the house. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Sarah Marie? I am doing well. How are you guys? Good. Thanks for joining us on the scoreboard. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm I'm a little like out of touch. I feel like people are like creeping up that I'm like, whoa, like wh where did this person come from? And they're on like post number 10. So. Well, you're not alone in that. There has been some kind creepers <laughs> running around here. <laughs> We're going to talk about one that we just found out about. There are so many people. I think it's so cool to your point that just like they join because of someone or just out of the blue, like someone who reaches out and sends you a message. And then you're like, Oh, let's do a kind of scam shout out. And they're like, what's that? Oh, wait, but you, you were involved, but how, you know, it's cool to hear everybody's story. It's true. Yeah. Hey, you are on overtime eight, which is impressive yes. since it was just last month you finished your 30 post journey. Yes. Yeah. You are like in it to win it. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your uh, TKG journey and, and what you learned and uh, what you got out of it? Um, yeah. So, I mean, I, so I didn't take, I did it a little bit longer than the 30 days, like the 30 posts in 30 days. And um, part of that is just family life. I know we were, we were, I have seven kids at home. <laughs> So, um, so I'm on, you know, social media when I can be, um, and, but I also just didn't like stress out about it because I'm definitely like my favorite character is the tortoise. Like I'm not the hare, I'm the tortoise. I'm like, just keep swimming like Dory, <laughs> you know, it. when you have like so many kids, like all you make is like kids movie references, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so I think for me, it was really, you know, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't stress out about, you know, making 30 posts in 30 days and really just taking the time to make quality, authentic posts that were engaging and, um, you know, showing the connection that I had with the person that I was, that I was given a shout out to. So I think what surprised me the most was um, some of the responses I got when people were just like, oh my gosh, like that made my day. And I don't think I was really like quite expecting that response or, or I was, but I wasn't, I wasn't uh, expecting how I would then feel when that person, you know, was thankful for that post. I didn't, I didn't expect that because um, kindness is just something I try to incorporate like every day yeah. but I think for me LinkedIn is a new platform and so doing it on LinkedIn was like it was a whole other like ball game for me so how did it feel to quite possibly be the first person in the kindness games history to get shouted out twice within two minutes of each other <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> and it's I, it was strange. I didn't see it until, so I saw yours like that first morning, that morning. And then I saw Al's like later on in the day, like it didn't pop up until I was camping. So I was actually camping this past <laughs> weekend. Well, okay. Glamping. All right. So there's a place here called Jellystone Park and it's like all based off of like Yogi Bear and it's like right off of like I-25 and there's splash pad and it's like this crazy like glamping but you know I was busy you know I was doing stuff and engaged with the kids and and stuff like that so then uh when I saw that I was like oh my gosh <laughs> it was it was surreal it was very surreal that's cool that's cool well we're so happy uh to have you as our 27th alumni but we have 32 now I know, it's Crazy. awesome. So we had two people, uh, Di Keeble and Eva Grimmert, finish on, uh, was it a Friday and a Saturday? Yeah, tech, it was like US same day, but Australia. But Australian, yeah. Not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Um, 
it's kind of fun when you have people in a tight enough group that people kind of finish at the same time. Very cool. Yeah. It's like yeah. the race, the race to the finish line. That would be the hare, right? Not the tortoise, I guess. Right. <laughs> Well, you know, the tortoise eventually crossed. <laughs> I'm a slow and steady too. Well thought out, <laughs> meticulous. Yep. I'm I'm there yeah. with you, girl. Yep. Yeah, you know, we have two other people tied in a dead heat right now. Chad Bruckner at 24 and L Robinet. Robinet. He told me the other day. I still can't remember. <laughs> They're both tied in 24. They're both posting within a few minutes of each other. I wonder, I wonder who's going to be, uh, who's going to win. Maybe win. this will be the opportunity again <laughs> to do it together. <laughs> I don't know. Do something creative guys. That would be mind blowing. Yeah, I know you guys had said something about like Margo and I doing, doing a giant one. And I was like, I didn't even like think of that. <laughs> so Alan, talk of you guys are like watching, like, Hey, like collaborate, get that 30 post, do it together. <laughs> Right. Cross the finish line hand in hand. <laughs> then whoever gives the first shout out, I guess, will be the first. How does that work? Maybe I don't know. Like, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. Game on. Oh, that's awesome. This is a lot of fun. You know, it's just been over a year. Um, and to have like 32 alumni is crazy. Uh, we kind of made a goal at the beginning of the year, like maybe we'll get 50 alumni by the end of the year. And to be honest, I was like, it won't happen. It might happen. We'll see. This is fun. Um, somebody just moved into rare air. Do we know what's going on there? Coach no. Cat unknowingly moved into triple overtime. Oh, oh my God. she had no idea because she put it yesterday and she and she put like her old score and I was like, yeah, she hasn't been counting, which is good, <laughs> right? She doesn't care. She's just doing her thing. True. That was like, I think it was on a scoreboard call. Tim's like, Kelsey, now you're in double overtime. And I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> I had no <laughs> idea either. Yeah. So, yeah, actually, um, there have only been four people in triple overtime me, Lee, Kelsey, and now the amazing Coach Cat. Yeah. That's awesome. Triple overtime. That's 90 posts. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's, That's dedication. A lot of fun. <laughs> That's dedication. That is. I feel like anything shadow. from 30 days to like, that's dedication. It's, I mean, the people who have joined know that but when I first started, I was like, all right, all right, we can do this. We can do then by like day 25, I'm like, oh my God, I, I really want to give the same energy as I did for the first person. Well, you're like, oh my God, I'm so sick of my voice. But just to your point, Sarah Marie, the, the dedication to each post and then like the authenticity in your post, I think speaks to itself. But yeah, I got to say, I kind of had it easy. I'm, I'm kind of like the kindness games cap, cap out because I did it 30 posts in 30 days, <laughs> but I was in quarantine for the first two weeks of it. So I really didn't have a whole lot going on. Not a whole <laughs> lot of a nightlife. You like pre-recorded them all and like did like a I'm not gonna change, lie. like all in one day. You I did. Have four, I had 14 <laughs> posts. Um, but if you go back and check the record, there's a there's a blue wave on the hotel room wall behind me. I'm pretty sure my first 20 videos <laughs> had that blue wave, even though <laughs> I was out of that room. <laughs> hey, it's smarter, not harder, right? When you think of something, you just got to record. You know, I mean, if you're going to take five minutes to sit down in front of your computer or your phone and you're going to record one, why not take 10 and record three? It's just hitting the button, re-hitting the button, hitting the button, re-hitting the button. You've already done all the work of sitting down and setting it up. Yeah, good yeah. point. This is true. All right, uh, journeys to watch. We have three people in their 20s. Uh, we've already talked about two of them, Al and Chad, and then Janet Fenner at 25. Um, so this is cool, right? Potentially, we could have three more alumni in the next week. By the end sometime of in the next weekend yeah that's awesome yeah and uh 
just a little something, something. I know of two, possibly three people starting in the next few days. Ooh. And I possibly know of two as well. Work oh, in progress. Work in progress. <laughs> I think so. Because I don't think you know them. Good. I don't know. Good. I'm trying. I'm trying to convince people. I'm not like dive bombing <laughs> them. Like, all right, we're going to do this now. But like, try. There's nothing wrong with hitting record. You're already on. Just do it. I, I love it. I love Tim's tactic. <laughs> He's like, all right, we're going to record. Do it. And you're like, okay. Did right. I do that with you, Sarah Marie? No, no, I started on my own. I just started, like, I messaged you and I was like, what is That's this true. kindness game thing? Because I am I love the randomness of stuff, so. But I'm also, like, a little bit of, like, a rule follower, so I was like, I don't want to, like, mess it up, so I got to ask him, like, what this is all about. You would and get along with like, my wife. My wife is the ultimate rule follower. <laughs> I tend to not. <laughs> if it's inconvenient, drives her nuts. <laughs> I mean, t- I have my limits. I mean, I there was a time in high school where I said, "Mom, if I'm going to make a bad decision, I'm going to make the best bad decision I can." <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <sighs> That's awesome. All right, um, movers and shakers. These are people who are like our most active right now. Um, Colt Parsons. Back from a break, he started a few months ago, took a break, and all of a sudden last week, he jumped back in, I think, at number four. He's up to number 10 right now. And yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's doing he's doing uh, typed posts. So uh, that's very cool. I'm glad to have him back. What do you think about that, Kelsey? Yeah, no, I definitely, it just goes to show too that people finish on their own time, but as long as you finish or as long as you put in effort, it's totally appreciated. I think it's really cool that he's back in, back in the saddle. I know he had a lot going on, so he's ready to finish. Absolutely. Yeah. We like to say 30 posts in 30 days because it's nice and clean. Uh, but really it's more about the 30 posts than the time, right? Because it's really about saturating your network and yourself with thoughts of gratitude and kindness. Um, Tim McCrate is at 18. So he's about to enter the home stretch. Have you seen any of Tim's posts? Yeah. He's kind of doing like the super early morning, like black and white motif. (laughs) I, I don't know how he's getting the coloration on the camera, but I think it's cool. That is really cool. Unique, right? Yes, it is. All right. Uh, Gips jumped into overtime. He just finished like a week ago. And he already jumped into overtime. So thank you, Gips. Love that. That's awesome. Annie Nelson is at 16, just over the hump. And Ernie Van Der Liest. I don't know Ernie. But Lee just sent me a link one day. He's like, hey, somebody's doing the kindness games. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, Ernie's on three. We just found out about him. Um, and he's doing them on Fridays. So it's like his Friday cool. thing. Like send you into the, the weekend with kindness. How cool is that? I like that. That's a cool spin. It's yeah, like it's- set you up for happiness at the end of the week, because, you know, people are tired at the beginning of the week. They're like, all right, let's start fresh. But at the end, I like it. Yeah. Set you up for a good weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to keep an eye out for those, for his. You know, he's going, um, I hear he's going to be on a panel with Lee at GSX. Maybe, maybe we get a joint kindness in person. Yeah. Awesome. Ernie, (laughs) Lee. (laughs) <laughs> Carlos what's going on Carlos too yeah Carlos is gonna be on that panel he's, too Carlos is a slacker man I mean he like, did like two overtimes and then he's like eh. <laughs> Carlos get back in the game brother you should give a shout out while he's the MC of GSX there we go there we go that'd be mind-blowing that would be awesome 
All right. And then, uh, yeah, I've got a few people uh, that I think are joining soon. Uh, two people, possibly a third. Kelsey, you say you've got a possibility of two people? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. SMB, she already put a new person in. Like, yeah. Was it before She's you crushing it. Right after? <laughs> I think it was one before or one after, right? Well, no, just Connie, but I have, I have a few, I have a few that I'm, that I'm talking to that I'm, I'm teeing up. So Got we'll a few see. Simmering, I love yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> awesome. What did they say? It takes 30 days to make or break a habit, right? I just, this just came to my mind, but that's totally like you do 30 day posts and it's making kindness part of your life, your everyday life. So I guess it really doesn't have to be consecu consecutive, but if it's 30 days, yeah. it really, like when I did it, I feel like you were just like, uh, you're more energetic and you are more, of course you're more positive, but you're more intentional about it. Um, but I, I thought it really had more energy for some reason. It for sure. And I think when people say like, oh, I was more positive, people are like, oh, good. You were like happier, but yeah, it made me see the world around me a bit differently. I noticed the kind things. I was more easily uh, gracious for things like, oh, thank you. That was so nice. Rather mm -hmm. than just be like, oh, they're doing their job. Right. Um, it really does transform your perception of the world around you and how people act. I found myself, even when people weren't really nice, wondering why not getting mad, but I'm like, Oh, I wonder, I wonder why they did that. Like, I hope everything's okay. Which is weird. Cause I'm not that guy actually. <laughs> Kill him with kindness. <laughs> You're that guy now. <laughs> that guy now. After, after the kindness game. <laughs> That's right. Uh, SMB, any last thoughts before we uh, shut the scoreboard down? Uh, no, just, it's exciting to kind of see all these people that are all, you know, um, different areas of professionalism. And it's, it's awesome to see them participating in the kindness games. So it's nice. amazing. Crush it, Kelsey. <laughs> Love it. Um, yeah, no, Sarah Marie, it's awesome. I apologize. We haven't met before this terrible Kelsey. Um, but it's awesome <laughs> to see alumni on the calls. I think it's really cool to hear people's stories. Um, thank you for your contributions to the kindness games as well and for being badass. Um, and then just for everybody that's joining and all these alumni and people participating. Thanks for your time. I know it takes a lot of time and a lot of persistence and dedication. So thank you for your time. Thank you for being kind and thank you for leading by example because in this world that we're living in, it's continuing to get hard. It's like a roller coaster of kind, not kind, kind, not kind, COVID, not COVID. So your consistency of being kind and just spreading genuineness in the world, whether it's your, through your posts or holding a door for someone goes a really long way. Yeah, it sure does. Um, and, you know, no matter how we're feeling, no matter how people are treating us, we have a choice with how we engage the world, right? We can choose to lead with kindness. We can choose to look and recognize the human on the other side of whatever life situation we're in and say, what would be the best outcome for that person? Like, how can I help facilitate a better day or a better situation, a better outcome for them. And maybe you get recognized for it, maybe you don't, but at the end of the day, you've put in the effort to intentionally improve somebody's life as much as you can. And man, if half of us did that, the other half would be blessed and everybody would be a bit happier. You guys think so? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah definitely it's, it's almost like an integrity almost like it's, it's part of your integrity right it can be. yeah for sure for sure all right everybody that's the scoreboard for september 20th kindness games out